What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. So, man, today is the day. Today is the day. The logo is about to get ready to get started. Now go on, we we'll get started. We back up at Stripes and Stuff Graphic Signs Incorporated. And man, uh, I pulled my truck. I got here at my appointment time, which was like, I say it's 9 a.m. I got here early. I got here like 30 minutes early because I'm just, I just prefer to be early. And then uh, I rolled on up in here, man, and they told me to pull into the bay. I pulled into the bay. We went over uh, this like specific color of purple again because it was already purple on the truck, but the way the light hit it with the purple that they had, it didn't look the same. In the shade, it looked the same, but when the sun hit it, it was different purples. And I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, if I get this done halfway and I don't like what I see, I'm gonna feel like I wasted my money. So, Man, my camera looks dirty. Hold up, hold up. Make sure y'all getting a good view. So, um, so with that being said, I told them just go ahead, pull the whole side off, everything off. I want new purples on it. Y'all may be like, man, you wasting money, blah, 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 blah. You, you're not seeing a big picture if, if that's what you think. If you if you thinking, oh man, Zeke Dog, you doing the right thing, we on the same page, so I ain't talking to y'all. But it's it's gonna be some naysayers that get in the chat and be like, man, you wasting money, blah blah blah. You you don't understand that it's not it doesn't bother me that this is a lease truck and the truck ain't gonna ever belong to me. What it is, I'm still building my brand. It's advertising. When people put stuff on the billboard on the side of the road and they pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to put something on the billboard, that's not permanently there. They're leasing it to display their product. Same thing I'm doing. I'm leasing it and paying to display my product. And my product is Zeke Dog Trucking. <laughs> YouTube and everything. All of this is, is all part of Zeke Dog. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm going to show y'all some, some snippets of that uh, today. And then I got to go to, I think, the Peterbilt shop to get that window resealed. I won't ever make that mistake again. So uh, that's where we're at with that, man. Uh, hope y'all are subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share the videos with your friends, and uh, man, let's go. Let's see what we got. As y'all can see, Zeke Dial Truck is sitting up in the shop, getting ready to make magic happen. Yes, sir. All right, we're up in my truck, and as you can see, I got stuff sitting all over the bed. So, what uh, <clears throat> what I'm about to do while I'm waiting on my truck uh to get started on. I'm about to go ahead and hang my TV. So, over here was the bracket that was already here. I already looked a little damaged. But, this not an issue. I'm going to keep this thing here. Like, probably permanently. So, I get a new truck. I'll just swap these out. So, what I need to do. 
is mount this on here. I don't think it'll be too hard and I'm not sure whether I should use the current hole or drill new holes and just kind of have them overlapping like I could put one here or do it here and then drill a new top hole for it so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right here <laughs> inside on the floor Y'all probably like, man, what the heck? Yep. I don't want to get out and uh, and do anything in their shop. It may be some kind of liability issue. So uh, Okay, this will not, this doesn't fit in, so I'm gonna have to drill out this hole more and then come and drill a new hole. Put a bag up under it and see if that'll help just a little bit. But I, <laughs> I prefer not to have to do all this vacuuming to get the metal shavings out of here. So let's see if I can use this bag. And which hole did I say I was going to use? I'm going to use this top right hole. There we go. All right, we got action. First hole is completed. And we just need to do the second hole.
you steal some metal shavings uh, popping out a lot more now but let's see if this screw yep the screw fits in so I got both of my holes <laughs> both of my holes uh, in here so that's uh Try to, I don't know. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna put this thing together, and I'm gonna show y'all the rest from there. All right, I got the TV mounted. Let me show y'all how I did it. All right. So this bracket is mounted through an existing hole here, and I had to put this hole here because of the, the spacing. But man, this thing will extend. <laughs> All the way out. I'm trying to get it all the way out. There we go. So the TV can really be about right here. Man, this is so cool. And so uh, let me push it back. You know what? Let me check on my router up here on my modem. Okay. Modem is connected. This is very good. So let's troubleshoot and see what's going on. see I'm gonna turn this light off if you can't see it cuz I can't see it but it says Zeke dog Wi-Fi okay all right we getting connected lost satellite reception Everything look good. Say it's successful. So now uh -oh. Oh, we got that Zeke dog trucking. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So this is what we need to do. We need to click on the channel. We need to play some Z doll. <clears throat> what's up, what's up, what's up? This your boy Z doll, and I'm back with another video. And I'm back hey, with hey. another video. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's cool. That's me. I done mounted my TV. Uh, it swivels, it's in the right height, like, 
I'm just I'm just happy with oh let me turn this light on so y'all can see me. I'm happy with this. So that was one project that I needed to uh to get completed. And got a lot of extras with this. A whole lot of extra stuff that I'm not gonna need. This is the box that it came in. I don't know if y'all can see. PISF1. I could have mounted a 32 on here looking at it now, but this is a 27 inch and it's actually a, uh, a computer monitor with the smart, smart hub, smart TV apps on it. Oh man, I hate all this plastic on my stuff. I gotta peel all this plastic off, man. Oh, get this stuff off. Oh, the plastic be looking, be looking horrible. There we go. He's coming. Oh, oh it's coming all the way around. Hold up. Let's come and see if it come down. Ooh, 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 I got it. I got all of it. So, I got the new new. That's what's up. I'm good. I'm happy with it. It's a 4K TV. Uh, really, this TV being a 27 because of the oddity of the size and the ability to work directly. It was set up to be a monitor. It costs more than if I had just bought a 32 inch Samsung, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I got what I wanted. I didn't want it to be over powerful with the size, but it's good. The sound quality is actually pretty good. I had bought a sound bar, and after testing, after testing out the sound bar, it just did not do what I wanted to do. It was a cheap sound bar. I should never have went cheap, but I sent it back to Amazon. So, um, all right, we got the coffee maker over here. What else do we got to get put up in the truck today? Ooh, these are my lights. I can't do it right now because they're going to be working on this side of the truck. I got some lights for the inside. Uh, yep, it's going to be lit up in here. I don't know here. I don't know how. But it shall be lit up. I got a power inverter that I put up here with my hot spot. Got the microwave. I have, I gotta find out what I gotta do about this cord because originally I was plugging, I was gonna plug it into this power inverter. Yeah, that didn't work. So uh, I plugged it in and it did not get power. So I guess it needs more power. Uh, Same microwave from the last truck. I need to clean it out a little bit. But, uh, I still have not tested it on this 1500 watt inverter. I'm, uh, I'm skeptical on its ability to actually cook. So, um, uh, all this stuff is going to end up going up here. Oh, the, uh, I got a cover for my TV. That's what this is. So, when I'm not using it, and uh, just wanted to blend in, got the world map monitor cover. So, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff put up. Uh, oh, CB radio. That's what I can work on. So, this is where your CB radio should go. <laughs> if you don't put it right there, I don't know what to tell you. But, um, you might be thinking, man, how the heck you gonna get it behind here? This actually has snap clips in here. So, when you pull, it snaps 
straight out. And then you just plug it in and put it back up. So um, I'm about to play around with this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get much of it on camera, but uh, I'm about to install it. You know what? I decided I'm gonna show y'all at least what it looks like coming out of the box. I mean, what the heck y'all expecting something to happen to it? There we go. Cobra. Mic check, mic check. So another thing, if you're hooking up your radio before you actually go live on it, you're supposed to calibrate these radios. So I actually found another YouTube video to help me figure out what I was going to do with it. Okay. And, uh, give you a quick tutorial on how this is going to work. You have to find the, it's a black and red terminal twist that you can untwist and then uh, put these in and then you twist them back. Then you plug this into the back of here. It's only one way to plug it in. Uh, you screw this in the antenna and then you put it over here on this side for uh, the external speaker and that's the basics of how you hook it up uh, you want to also connect this before you fully close it back up so um, let's see if I can find that little terminal back here that I gotta plug it in. I heard it was behind here. Yep, I see it way, 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 way back there. So I'm gonna need all my hands, which I got two of them, to do this. <laughs> and I'll show y'all hopefully when it's done. Alright, I have completed the install. Of the uh, see if that looks a little better. Yep, but I got to install radio tech, radio tech. Hopefully, somebody got their ears on and can give me a radio check. But, uh, yep, that is pretty much it. Um, man, I gotta go pick up some hangers so I can hang up. All this stuff. I got a few hangers, but uh, <laughs> I need more hangers. So that's where we at with that. Again, once I get my truck organized, I'll feel more relaxed. Right now, I just brought all this stuff in here, and I don't want to say or use the word clutter, but I can feel a little congestion. Yeah. So. Uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna be showing y'all is what this truck looking like. They are uh, they're cleaning out. I say cleaning. Uh, don't know if you can see in my mirror. 
right there getting off all the old gunk from the uh from the old stickers that was on here and they're gonna go with the purple that i want on here so uh yeah let's get it all right they got all the stickers off the side of the truck now wow this baby is green green that's crazy that's cool I gotta go order me some food. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, it's printed on all of them or just oh, okay. Man, these are some huge printers. They are pretty awesome. Wow. So is this like twenty thousand dollars worth of one printer right here or <laughs> pretty accurate. For real? Wow. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. We got action. Man, this is so cool. Yeah, these printers are pretty pretty awesome, that's for sure. Now, as far as the, the ink, I see the cartridges over there. Do you all like refill them or do you just have to order them like special? Yeah, no, so uh, we don't refill these. Uh -huh. uh, so you pop one up and then take the whole unit out and then replace the unit. Okay. And it tells you we're going to appear to uh, like how much ink is in left so that you can refill them. Correct. Uh, you can have a idea. Okay, it's like a little fuel gauge for the ink. Yep. And then see, this is like the replacement for like the orange. Oh, so it's that long? Yeah. Oh, so I thought it was like Little just, a, oh, yeah, no, I'm only he, seeing the tip of the iceberg exactly, right there. Exactly, yeah. These are actually kind of cool. I think these are about $200 a pop, roughly. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Now I see where all my money going. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. That's yeah. Wow, okay. So yeah, we just basically pop that out, shake uh -huh. this up really good, and then the back end okay cool y'all see some action over here yeah take probably about 20 minutes to print it uh-huh maybe or maybe a little more maybe a little less okay yeah Oh, we got the printer going. Oh, yeah. Colors would be nice, that's for sure. Man, this purple is popping. And uh, once it's printed, yeah. you take it over and you get it laminated on the laminator. Okay. And then once it's laminated, we run it through our cutter. Ah, uh, does it like read the pictures and automatically cut it out, or do you? Well, how does that work? So when it prints it, uh, everything is set up in the files to tell the computers where to cut. And so it actually has a barcode that it can scan. That's and then right. it pulls in the correct cut file. Okay. And so it like use the corners as like guides. Uh, guides. In okay. case it like skews at all, it'll correct the skew. Oh man, that is cool. <laughs> Y'all see him? Man, this is so nice. All right, so that's the sneak peek. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and show y'all the rest at the end, but y'all see how it's coming together. Listen, if y'all are in Springfield, Missouri, and y'all need to get some work done, graphic design, something on your truck, any kind of truck, car, it doesn't matter, come over here to uh, Stripes and stuff, man. 
everybody here has great energy, great personality. You know me. I I I'll tell y'all if, if the energy ain't off with people, with, 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 if the energy is off with people, and you know they're not treating me right, I tell y'all. But since I came through the door here, man, everybody has been so nice. So I'm excited, man. I know y'all been waiting to see it, so it's coming. All right. Y'all ready to see something? <laughs> Y'all like, Zeke, why you playing, man? Go on, show me what we want to see. All right. I got something. It's kind of like a... I got something. I'm just going to say that. I got something. So, uh... I'm looking at this truck. And I'm like... Yeah, y'all ready to see it? Three, two, one. We got the hippie hauler over here. Look at there, look at there. Hippie hauler LLC. Man, this is what's up. Now, I'm assuming this was his one of his first trucks or something. I don't know if uh they're gonna remove the stickers here or what but um, man this is nice I like it I like it I like it I like it what else we got over here Alliance of the 12 what okay I like it I gotta Google to see what uh what's that referring to. Let's see. Unshackle your mind. Sheep are led to the slaughter. Okay, all right now. Leased by Buffalo Thunder LLC. Oh man, I like these Native American uh, pieces here. This is nice. This is nice. Man, and it's on a brand new Peter Bell. Oh, look at this, look at this. Yeah, this is a 23 model. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, they got something on the hood too. I can't even really see what it is. I'm gonna let y'all see. Man. This is nice. That's what's up. And he got uh <laughs> he got duels back here. No super single. What? Okay. I don't know if this is uh pre delivery and they still hadn't even taken it to to get that uh changed out to the super singles yet not sure at all all right so when you uh when you come in and you get ready to head to the lab you go around the left side of this building man they have several bays uh my truck is like right back here in there Oh, man, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Y'all like, hope y'all didn't just skip to the end and just go look and, and see what's on there. I don't know, I may have had it as a thumbnail. Uh, I don't know, you know what? I may do the truck as a thumbnail and just blur it out and see if y'all uh y'all like it that way. But, uh, Getting close. Oh, definitely. All right, so the time has come. I told y'all, just keep waiting, be patient. What I had in my head from the beginning of what I wanted, you know, I saw it. I knew what I wanted. And me 
going from one company to the next company and being able to, to bring out what I wanted is, man, it feels so good. So, man, I just got to show y'all this, man. Y'all ready? Here you go. Here you go. Bam. Oh, yeah. Y'all see it. Oh, <laughs> man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. You see your boy? Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> man, this is so freaking nice. I cannot, I, I can't really, I can't really fully express it in words on how good it feels. So check it out. Let me tell you with the stars because I already had stars in my logo. I was like, you know what? Let me bring the stars to the front because we are an all-star team. Me and my dog team. We all stars around here, baby. We are all stars. Man, oh man. Look at that, look at that. Woo! So. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. It's like, we here, baby. We are here. We are definitely here. So, man, uh, like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and join the doll team, man. I appreciate it. So, until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.